Hey guys, welcome back to Smith RC Studios. This is Lewis Smith. Thank you for tuning in. Today is Saturday and I'm super excited. We are at the World's second annual Worlds here in Victorville, California. So we're going to go ahead and just check out the races, uh, talk to some people, see some friends. Really excited. Uh, I was actually here a year ago exactly for the Worlds, the first annual. I have a video. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll post it below. But right now, let's go check it out, guys. All right. Chris. What's up, buddy? Uh, show us the show us what you're working on there. The trophies for the Worlds 2021. Uh, yeah, look at that. Now that is the final product. All the sponsors there. Awesome. Cool. Good job, man. Thanks. We're water. We check out the track real quick. That was an hour and a half break, guys, so hopefully I can give everybody just enough time to work on their cars a little bit. Yes, we are. We're going to have a, a third annual. That's okay. next year, so it'll be 2022. Okay. Um, I'm actually kind of working on it right now. So I'm talking to people right now out here that are like uh, OBR, Dan from OBRs, all the sponsors again. So okay. try to work on them, start planning ahead. It takes about a year to plan everything out, to right. get everything together. So if you start now, it kind of comes together for next year. Right. And then I, off camera, you were telling me that you might actually do it in a different location, right? Yes, it's, okay. it, it's, it might be in the book somewhere else. I don't want to kind of release that information yet okay. until it's solid in the books. Right. Because I don't like to, if I can't do it, I can't, I won't say I can do it. That's right. how I work. Right. So I want to make sure it's solid in the books and if we're a, a green light, then um, I'll release it with the flyer. The flyer, flyer is already made for next year. I just got to put the last little information on it, great, and man. it'll be right out. I'm looking forward to it, man. Thank you so much. This is a great event. Very successful event, man. Sweet. I love it, man. Thank Sweet. you very much Thank for your you guys. Yep. 10 to go, 210. Race number two, have them ready. Dan from OBR. I just met him right now. Dan, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How was the race? How did you do out there today? Uh, today is a little bit rough. I just came back from a pretty long break, so a little rusty today. Okay. Um, the track is uh, very technical. It's uh -huh. got a really good hookup. Uh, a couple, couple of problems. Second and two wheel drive, and I think I'm in the B main for the pro buggy. Okay. Which is a lot of fast guys on that track. Right, I saw that. Yeah. You know. Yeah, cool. Um, obviously, you're running your engine, right? You're running an OBR engine? That's right. Okay. Right here, I'll take the lid off. Let's see what we have over here. So, running the, this is the Signature Series Reed Case G320 engine. Okay, so it's a 32. That's right. So, 32cc, okay. our new 1242 carburetor and our brand new power stack that just came out. I saw that. Yep, yep, yep running it inside. Um, it's been working great all day, especially in this higher altitude. Right. Um, 
the tuning is a little bit different right up here, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, we're at 3,200 feet here. Yeah. Um, so we have to lean out a bit, yep. less air. So um, it's a little different. Every track around on the West Coast has its own little tune to it. Yeah. So, you know, being able to adjust to that run up really helps. Cool. So tomorrow's the day that counts, right? That's tomorrow. Right. Are you excited day. about tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Main day is, uh, you know, <laughs> the training wheels are off, man. It's ready to awesome, go. dude. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for the talk. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Nice to meet you again. Hey, it was great meeting you. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll stay in touch and I can get some engines. All right. Sounds cool. good. Awesome. Thank thanks. you. <laughs> I think I just missed TQ on the last corner. I kind of spun out. You know, I'm uh, I'm saving tires. You can see my tire was, you know, bald on the rear. Um, literally, we we got these special compounded tires, and I've got two sets for the main. So I've been kind of on that for my last things of qualifying. So, but I'll line up second in that tomorrow. And then right now I have uh, two wins in this so far. So possibly little buddy Christensen can get it. Um, if he runs a faster faster run than me and in this next one and wins it um, so that'll be the tiebreaker but having a lot of fun out here the world is good good times a lot of good people so with the mod speed shop you can go to modspeedshop.com we're kind of like a pro shop for all racing right getting some of our newest stuff we have the kill switches and the no ox kill switches these are guaranteed uh, from us so any problems with them we make sure to fix you guys up make sure you're dialed in uh, we got the skids we got the bypass pistons we got the Everlast gears. I'm still on the same gear, you know, the last year, year basically, uh, since we came out with them. They're super nice. Uh, rear diff inserts. Uh, I think I'll take one of those kill switches. Oh, no problem. I'll take one of those. I think I'll put a little button here. We got the no ox, and then we have the auxiliary one. So one, you can kill it with a button. And this one's pretty dummy proof where you just plug it in, you shut off your radio, and it kills it. So. So that's dialed in. We got the we got the mod triple stage filter here. Yep. Uh, comes with a little pantyhose there and everything like that. So they come off super clean. Might take one of those. You got All some right, man. Sexy spark plugs. We got spark plugs. We got kind of everything. A little bit of everything that you need. And then uh, if it's not up on the board, we usually carry it. Cool, man. By the way, uh, thank you for your help and your your uh, customer service is great. I got your clutch. Awesome. It works nice, man. I love yeah, it. I, I love your clutch, man. I'm glad that you're loving it, man. Thanks so much for the support. We greatly appreciate it.
Hopefully I can take it all the way to the A main. Hey, well, good luck, Brandon. Thanks, brother. Good. Brandon from Large Scale RC Nation. How are you doing, buddy? Great. How are you doing? Good, good, man. Thanks for asking, man. So how did it go today? I saw you were out in the track today. Yeah, today went really well. Uh, I've been running second place all weekend. I uh, was holding first place through most of the last run, and then... Had a, had a few hiccups, so, oh, man. But, so I but I brought it back up. Uh, the my 32 piston port part alone, right? Yeah. Has so kept me like rocking and, and it keeping me fast. And my Bartolone pipe, church, yep. You're running a Bartolone pipe. I see that. I, I, and you're running the mod clutch, correct? Yes, mod clutch. Yeah, I like that video, by the way. Uh, he has a good video on the mod clutch on how you build it, so I'll link it below too. So yeah, this guy has a very good video on that. Um, thanks, brother. You have a great content as well. Yeah, thanks a lot. I love watching Smith RC Studios. Yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. Um, so yeah, so I saw some of this build that we were building it. You got DDM right there. And how about these braces? Are Turtle racing braces, mod V4 shocks, mod clutch, uh, high tech racing servo. Cool. Um, I did the mod rear inserts in there. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, and also all mod, all barred alone, and that's what's kept me yeah. getting, getting fast. So for sure. Yeah. Man. Hey, well, tomorrow is the day that counts, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, awesome, dude. Well, good luck. Yeah. Okay, man. Thanks. Thanks, thanks so much for yeah. having me, brother. All right, no problem. Keep up the great work. Yep. Thank you. Chris Zaga, nice to meet you. Chris, yeah, nice to meet you, dude. Uh, so how did you do uh, do out there today? Uh, not too bad. I haven't driven about over a year. Second right. in the B main, right behind Bisbee. Okay. So tomorrow should be good. Track's yeah. fun. Yeah, track is really good racing. Fun. Yeah, and you said you were here last year, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Different track than last year, but it's grooving up good. But did it change it a little bit? I noticed it was a little bit different. Was it? Well, they run a lot of A scale here, so the track always changes, but. I kind of like not watering and you know let the track groove up. It's yeah, for sure. Consistent dude. for everybody. So I see you got the Losi 5B here, right? Yep. What are you running in there? Uh, this one's a Scott Finley motor. I usually run Scott Finley or Bartolone racing motor. Okay, yeah. Bartolone pipe for sure. Okay, what kind of clutch are you? Are you guys running? MIP here? clutch. Yeah, the the mod one. Yeah. Or, yeah, I like mod that. MIP. MIP. You know? Yeah, that was the first one. Yes. Yep. Cool. Um, I think still a lot of vertigo, clutch bells, and clutch carriers. Yeah, cool, dude. Hey, well, thank you for your time, man. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy thank yourself. you. Yep. Yeah, so Chris, as I was mentioning to you, I met you at Ultimate Hobbies like what eight or nine years oh, ago when yeah. it, when you were working there. Yeah, when I worked for Ultimate Hobbies. Right. And, oh I used man, to, it's been a it's been a while. It's, it's probably eight, yeah eight nine ten years. Right. Maybe. I used to uh, bring in my low C five T, the first generation one. Oh, yeah, like Irvine Lake time. Mm hmm. Yep. Exactly. And you would help me out with the endpoints and like yeah, the trim and all that stuff. Yeah, get it. Well, that's a, kind of my job. Get everybody dialed in, make right. stuff work. Right. Um. So yeah. So how did you do today? Did you race today? Yeah, I raced today. Um. I did all right. I think uh, you know I'm five, somewhere like fifth, sixth in the okay. buggy track. I had had some uh, not necessarily brain fit, just like I, I broke a dog bone in, on a tiki run in the first round okay. in buggy, limped it around for three for three or four laps at the end. Um, had a good good second round. The third round something else broke. Oh, I broke an arm in the third round. It didn't start. Oh. <laughs> um, it just, happened. just a just flu some of it was just fluke things mm -hmm. so but ended up ended up pulling it together you know and uh you know yeah. made some good adjustments to the cars and they're, they're pretty good now but they're ready to go for tomorrow tomorrow's a big day uh they will be probably in a few hours after <laughs> we, we start getting some work done right before you lose the light too right or yeah well we got lights and everything in the pits so okay it, it's more of how long the or how and when the pit party starts of how <laughs> I much think people work have already get, started because because it's like <laughs> our our little group of guys that we race with they like to have a good time so yeah I've, <laughs> I've already seen back there a couple guys already like mixing their drinks and stuff like that it's a, it's a yeah. pretty much a party out here yeah I had water on my pit table so <laughs> <laughs> FYI. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here from Chris. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thanks for your time, man. Yeah. Uh, it was nice to see you yeah, again. Yeah, good and, seeing you. And, you know, hope you're out here tomorrow. Get yeah, some, I'll see you get tomorrow. Some good footage. Awesome. All right, yeah. like I said. Okay. Good to see you guys. Cool. Do you want to promote your, I think you do, uh, you take vehicles from people, right, and you fix them up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called Sullivan RC Lab. Okay. So uh, what I do is completely go through it, rebuild it, uh, service it, clean it, shock oils, diff oils,
check to make sure like hinge pins are not bent, out drives, dog bones, whatever the car needs. Um, I do that, and then once I get done with that, I usually I ask for the radio so I can set the endpoints adjustments, make sure it's done correctly. That's cool, and you can and you can uh, get that information on what website? Uh, just my Facebook. Hit me on my uh, Facebook page, uh, Brian Sullivan, or uh, message me um, on Facebook. And, awesome. Uh, that's it. Cool. Thank you, Brian. Not a problem. Thank you. Yep. right there second annual fifth scale worlds very nice and you flip it around there you go nice shirt you got all your sponsors here Smith RC Studios DDM mod high tech Barlow and racing all right, guys, that'll be it for today. Uh, thank you for tuning in, Smith RC Studios. Uh, Till next time, cheers.